All right, a very good morning. Welcome back. This is still Why in the Morning, just in case you have no idea. This is the second, second last? No, this is the last part of uh, this show. But before we do anything amazing, let's interact with that hashtag, which is Why in the Morning, everywhere, including Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, on the gram is Y244 underscore channel. Mines is at Brian Soko 101, and that's how you can interact. By the way, we took on our TikTok and we dance, I tell you. So you should be there. Follow us on TikTok as well at Y244 channel. And on this interesting segment, <laughs> Happy Mother's Day, by the way. There's somebody who told me Happy Mother's Day should be for anybody who feels like a mother, because, you know, there's those brothers who raised their younger siblings and there's those sisters who raised their younger siblings. Do we say now, do we specifically deliver a happy Mother's Day to a brother or a happy Father's Day to a brother? Like, I'm confused, but if you feel like you're a mom, but Akote said, if you want to be, if you want to compete with women, ensure that you have a uterus, <laughs> which is very interesting, by the way. But anyways, away from that, we have an interesting uh, show coming up, and uh, we have an interesting question. Before I get too into it, I'd really like to just read uh, some of your comments. I'm going to censor this one. So the question is, Mona Lord Jesu, imamo konfanyele kitu? So, but I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Here's the question. Who, cut your wife, now your mom, who should be given the first priority? But most scenarios is make your time here. Kupanda gari mkenda church. Ama time here ku, ku resolve issues, pale time here tension between a husband and a wife. And most instances, zile situations, and you don't, I'm skizani, but then there's this day your mom, I may kuja, I may visit, and then you guys have to go to church. I mean, you guys are going to see a pastor to resolve some of the house issues. So who sits at the front of the car? Because that's, that's one of the most common in your pop up. And um, let me just read feedback. Yeah, one of the guys who texted me, I may respond to my status. I may say, <laughs> ah, let me censor it. I may, say, I may say, your wife is not your family. Mama has to come first. I don't know about you. But I'd love to hear your feedback. Who should come first? And joining us live in studio are two powerful gentlemen. One of them has been here before. You will uh, definitely get to remember him. Anajita Victor Ndubi, he's a media student. And then we have Eric, the, Eric K., the son, I believe. Ataniambia Kama Sija pronounced Vizuri, but he's a gospel artist. Uh, good morning. Good morning once again. First time, good morning. Welcome. Uh, uh, thank you, thank you. So, so uh, uh, Victor, who should be given first priority? Because you say Sema that your wife is not your family. Mama should come first. Okay, um, according to me, I think, uh, well, your mom has had all the priorities that she needs to have before you have your wife, or maybe after having your wife, you should know that this is someone that's bringing you babies and kids, and after that, the first person you respond to before you get to your mom is your wife. Uh -huh. Mostly in instances where you are in a family, maybe separate from your mom, you're living in town. Mostly you interact with your wife, you talk to her, you sort out issues before communicating to mom. Yeah. There are situations where you, you find out that you spend at least two or three days before talking to your mom. Uh -huh. But your wife is someone you talk to daily. Every day. So it's so inevitable to like, avoid talking to your wife or like giving priorities to your wife and taking them to your mom. So it's something that is least avoidable unless you are someone who is close to your mom and uh, has issues with the wife. Right. Yeah. But, but in that, that instance, instance you, you, may, you may come up a lot to that. Uh, you guys are going to church and then there's a come on, you've been blessed with a car. <laughs> so who sits at the front seat and who sits at the back seat? Because I'm looking at it from a point here uh, Yes, your mom is sick, probably, but then maybe that day you guys have had issues, and then how long I'm bongi, bonga points, I'm bongi, wabongi, I'm wongi, na wife, and then I'm a fura, I'm a pure fura, and then ego plus kufura is my mix for more and emotions, and then itakuta your mom do anongia sana, but then your wife ame nyamaza tu ame kimia, so yeni ni movements too, hasemi chochote, anakuja, anakanyuma your mother and a Campbell. At this point, what could definitely happen? by the time na fika kwa destination. Yeah, I think um, that anger is being triggered by having conversations that maybe are like making you guys have a fight. So when 
you choose or uh, your wife chooses to sit at, at the back seat and your mother sits in front uh -huh. you'll have that conversation with your mom mother uh, with your mom that will carry away the anger that you have and you feel like you're okay but you, you see when you sit with your wife maybe she says something and you continue feeling like it's a bad thing then you remember the fights that you have and whatever you might end up talking badly and mark you maybe you're having kids in the car and they are, you are trying to hide the fight you had but then when you start talking badly and throwing words at, words at each other, mm -hmm. the kids might see that maybe you guys are having a fight. So it's better when you at least have that space before sorting your things out. So let mom sit in front and the wife sit behind. Are you in a scarlet mood? <laughs> yes, sir. Kwangu, mi na na kama 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 muliko me karogana na wife. Mm -hmm. uh, if I could mm -hmm. eh? Maybe mother may could solve. I may end up with your coffee and none. I come on, I may come to a coffee and none. Wife may have a far could say. So I can make a decision. I could come belly, so mm -hmm. eh? Now I came belly, now how gain I came you on a how gay. Decision it acquire. Uh -huh. uh, so take upon to kiongea na your mom. Si you leta some form of jealousy aseme ah huyo ni mama boy. Mbona anapea anapeanga to attention mama yake na alinioa mimi and yet you guys have kids. So itategemea na mood yenye iko. Uh, na mood itategemea. Eh. Eh cuz kama amko mnabonga hakuna uh -huh. vinyo unaweza mbongesha cuz uh -huh. unaweza bonga uh, a ile design ata nini ata respond ah. eh ilete ilete zogo zaidi uone ah. ata ile ungenyamaza so for example ajibu ajibu aje na say imagine a uh, imagine mm -hmm. scenario hata kwa movie eh, zile zenye wanyoshanga partners wanagombana nini nini madhani la mekuja you guys are going mnaingia um, kwa gari nini nini mnaanza kuongea but unakuta ye yeah, ha contributed hiyo tu anauliza mama Mbona uongei leo, you know, side things. Uh, so hapo, hapo saa ni anle sasa ucheza na mtu hui sasa. Uh -huh. Unajua, mtu hui ni ya naeza, naeza ripua. Uh -huh. Unona? So, ina, inatakanga sasa hapo, we, we, we bonga tuna mtu hui. Ju mtu hui si mnailewana. Uh -huh. eh? yeah. ukiongea, ukiongea sana na mtu hui, mtu hii sasa akimuuliza anaweza ibika unaona yeah. so unaweza pata mnari mna, ni, itakuwa easy to resolve yeah. Yeah. but then how do you balance attention because you know i believe in a marriage in a marriage setup it, it needs a lot of wisdom and maturity for example st still the same instance here mother in law pia sasa tuseme sasa ni side your wife mhm mm inside your wife mother can make up do you divert the attention from the mother-in-law, uh, the wife to now your mother-in-law as, as the husband now. Because uh, to, 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 to me, to your example, yeah, your wife is not talking to you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Na mama ke ndo mekam. Say, equal, sasa yendo anonge na mama ke, but hako ongeleshi. Uh, how do you, you know, create a safer space there? Because that's a toxic one. I can only imagine. Iyo ni noa mama nze. Iyo. Iyo sasa anle sasa wende utulie. Ukitulia we usibonge sana. Eh? So kama ni kitu unataka unadai. Eh? Lakini usibonge sana cuz the more the more you talk the more una create ili attention. Yeah. Unaona? Okay. So the best thing to do ni kunyamaza. Okay. Eh. Uh, Victor ebuchiko hiyo scenario sasa ni the mother wife amekuja sawa sawa in a situation where the mother in law is there and in the uh, the wife side uh, probability is that she'll side with the daughter okay i'm not saying it's always like that but it can happen uh -huh. so uh, in that scenario you can choose like to just make a friendly environment you the moment you start saying anything like the way they say to they say to the people arrested anything you say will be used against you so make sure you have the correct choice of words and if possible like he said before ensure that you talk to the kid 
uh, and maybe make him or her feel like the environment is okay because that's the most important person at that point. Do, do not make him or her feel that you guys are in a fracas. So maybe making stories to the kid and maybe telling him or her that, you know, after church maybe, you know, you'll go out with mom and dad to buy some things. I mean, in one way or the other, even the wife will feel that in as much as we're having a problem, I mean, he's trying to make the environment feel okay for the kid and maybe for everyone else who is there. And uh, maybe for the mother-in-law, I, I might tend to think that if you guys are okay, like you guys didn't have any problem, it's just you and the wife, you guys should not have any boundaries in talking. Okay. Yeah. That's a, it sounds easy. <laughs> so it's easier said than done. But then, to okay, reverse back, sasa, for example, initially, you guys munakuanga na zile fights is like, muna uh, fights Friday, everybody and asleep in a different room, and then maybe Saturday midnight, muna rodiana munaongea Sunday. But then it just so happens that, you know, it's the day also your mom is coming. Muna na tumia mom, pocho pia tuweke father-in-law. And then it comes that, you know, you have a good relationship with your dad, but then wife, Hannah, re good relationship now. So it's a coincidence, nini to happen. But then it also turns out now when your father comes, atataka kuongena, your wife more. But then it also happens that you guys are not talking. So you know. yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay I, I think, think for, for a, 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 a person who knows the value of a family, or, um, uh, both sides, a husband and a wife, someone should be able to talk to the father-in-law, maybe the wife should be able to talk to the father-in-law, and you as well talk to your dad, because like after all the wrangles, you know that you guys are going to be okay, and you have that hope that after all the fights, obviously you are going to make up for whatever you did to the other person. So it should not bring problems all the way up. Uh, the hierarchy of your problems should not go all the way to the family. You just make sure that at, At that moment where your dad, dad is there, there like, the, the wife talks to him uh, in, in a better way, like, that doesn't show anything happened. And after all, you guys will sit down as big people, you're married, and sort out your issues. And maybe, if you feel like there's something you guys could talk about that may bring up the things that you fought about, just try to avoid using languages or words or sentences that drive someone's mind back to the fights that you had. Because, because I'm believing that, that these are people who have a family, maybe you have a kid already. Yeah. So, so it's, it's a problem, problem you've been going through and you've, you've been solving. Yeah. It shouldn't be a big issue and maybe make things even get worse by the parents getting to know, maybe even involving the parents in the problems that they have nothing to do with. Right. Now, I'm also looking at it like, how do you make it safer for her? Or even Sasapia and vice versa. In that, I feel the kama umemongia sana kwa your dad, ama your, your mom. In terms of, yeah, yeah, was as wakia wako apo, but we were wako wako, anyways. Because most of the time, see, dema maweleka kwako, anyway, kwenu, near your parents, and they're always available kwa lazima, wa travel wa kuje. But then you guys are here on the table, and you're airing out issues now to your dad or to your mom. How do you talk in a sense that I feel when I'm attacked? How do you talk in a sense that you're in favor as you feel attacked? Okay, first of all, when you are airing out an issue or maybe telling your parents about uh, your parent, if it's one or parents, if they are all of them, about the issues that you guys have been having, you could just tell your parent, I um, mean your dad, that this and this and this has happened and this is what my view was on what happened. So maybe I could call my wife so that she could also share her views as well for, uh, for you maybe to determine and advise us. Uh, you should not put yourself as the person who's done the right thing and the wife has done the wrong thing or vice versa. Maybe I'm a period, so it's wrong. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, thing is, uh, for you, uh, here we are trying to make her feel that you are not, uh, your dad is not sidelining with you. Uh -huh. So the best thing is be play neutral and make your dad or the parent 
uh, solve the issue himself. Don't make yourself the judge before the parent judge. So just try to be neutral and uh, let him give the verdict according to how he sees both sides. Anyways, me have been in one, by the way. Breaking news. <laughs> Breaking news. But so, uh, for instance, bro, in your. Take it to me, Kichangu, but. Hey, Nimgumu ni could ski a story. Nimgumu, like a kisha jam, mm -hmm. it a bit of a pastor's water, a diole or shaka hola or kuje or fanya deliverance, na still how it happened. How do you how do you make it easy? Adi tempers is cool down. I'm a, uh, I had a friend when you were like they used to break up weekly on a breakup Friday or to Rudiana midweek Thursday next week. Do you create such a uh, a curve like each time na kaserikiana we are nenda? Una uonge na mom adi roi poem and dad and then at a Rudy bad day. As in how can we just create a consistent curve of a relationship here? Mm. So, welcome to my home. I like to unafak. Obvious, mukiwana unakwanga ukidua mse. So, ukipata ukidua every Friday lazima mkosane. <laughs> eh? Mm. Ni consistent yani. Eh? Ni kitu. Nape ina matter vitu mnakosani ya? You know, mm -hmm. uh -huh. So, I like to unafak. Eh? Ni... Maybe... You are we know the key. Pengine mm -hmm. unaweza kuwa wewe ndo unafanya hizi mambo zifanyike. So unafaa kwanza kuchunguza eh kile unasema mambo eh? sijui kama tunaweza tajia some specific acts zenye zinafanya eh? watu wanakosana eh? kwa relationship. Naweza naweza penda utaje bro. Like vitu kama gani zinaweza mjamisha ama zikujamisha at same ni weekend si ndio? Aha. Uh -huh. Eh? Yeah. Maybe kuna kitu unaletanga hiyo wikedi. Eh, maybe, tuseme kama, for example, unapatanga watu wengi, wanaenda ngarikizo ma wikendi, sindio? Yeah. So unapata, either eh, kuna, kuna ile kitu unampeleke anga. So, kuna time, unaenda anga unapata, manze kime umwana, ujapata ile staff. Mm -hmm. So, ukienda, ukifika huko unapata, amenuna. Mm -hmm. Eh? Yeah. Wewe unamuuliza una kitu anakujibu rude. Ama uko na expectant ah uh, asha pika. <laughs> Your favorite. Ah. Uh, Wewe mbona sema ni Friday? You know just so many things happen on Friday. <laughs> Unate. Anyways. <laughs> yeah. So upate ama kuna kitu wenye anakufanya anga Friday. Mm. Eh? Upate lately afanye. Aha. Uh -huh. Na ukimuuliza ana yani anakujamia aungei <laughs> aungei uh -huh. lakini anakuonyesha na 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 si una sweet talk bro you sweet talk um, yeah, huh? darling you know yeah. my queen the the empress of the of the kingdom ujua kama amenuna eh hata ushinde ukimuita majina tamtam eh unapata ngasa zingine haizi cool sasa itabidi itabidi tupigie pasta sasa so ma twende separate ways so ile kitu unafaa kujua ukikaa na mse unajuanga nikifanya hii lazima atatulia so yes inaweza kuwa eh nika space anakwanga akijipea mm. so unaona the moment una una push una push unapata inaleta zogo eh yeah. so inafaa kwanza unampatia time yeah. eh okay siku ya kwanza siku ya pili siku ya tatu mm. kama mjako sana muite uh -huh. eh hapo hivyo mnaweza kuwa na kikao muonge na muelewane sasa hapo utajua shida ni nini yeah. eh but the, the problem is you guys are sleeping in the same bed and you're not talking so yet you guys are living in a five bedroom condo in you know Kilalesho you guys are, are living in that one bedroom for now <laughs> Let's use that example. Mm -hmm. And you guys have to. Saita bidi mtu amelala sitting room tena bro. What a bad life. Ah ah same hivyo. Yeah. Nasema si umeko sana. Eh. Amtaishi kununiana. Eh. Si kuna zile time mtakam malize kila kitu. Mhm. 
life urudi utapata life imerudi normal mm -hmm. so wakati imerudi normal hapo ndipo mnaka, mnafaa kuka, kukaa chini useme kitu fulani ni bambi na yako mm -hmm. kitu fulani ni bambi yeah. so unacheki akikwambia mm -hmm. na akikwambia unifanyii yeah. eh na wewe mwambie unifanyii hapo utakuwa yeah. na time poa ya ku resolve okay eh, but to switch gears kiasi kwa for instance as you're working mm -hmm. of course as a man you're a provider you're the king you're the emperor the conqueror the lion <laughs> you're everything mm -hmm. so you're getting some good money yes you're working you're being paid some good money but then the first time you get paid the first person you send money to who should it be the first should it be your wife your father your mother your kids as in how do you prioritize uh, attention because at this point new era it's about you and what you're giving but then you have to imagine a scenario where the wife is also working but she still needs you know that support but then kuna zile kuna zile families like you know a wife has a bigger job than the husband and so the the, the <laughs> but that one is a difficult marriage i i nani see according to me that's according to kibe kibe le sema kama wife anapata pesa kubwa kushinda prepare to to marry someone else who has a lower pay i don't know if it works but you can tell me on that hashtag why in the morning how do you balance attention ya kutuma resources between kids family your dad and your mom mm. or even her parents as well who receives money first and then you also come in victor your wife your wife, your wife should receive money first eh eh ko zona dio akona 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 watoto wako yeah tseme mko na familia so your wife come first then the rest zile pesa zitabaki hizo unaweza tumia maparo mm -hmm. eh jo familia unaweza tuma unaweza tuma kwa, ma, kwa, kwa parents wako lakini utaenda kukaa huko yeah utaenda kwa utaenda kwa wako na ukienda kwa wako utaitishwa okay na hakuna venye unaweza enda kuitisha kitu yenye ujapeana right. so lazima upeane kwanza ndio itishe mm -hmm. umeke peace in your in your territory before Uh, before I, uh, but kuna history ya mama's boy but to tell later yes 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 Victor. <coughs> okay so I, i think these things are way okay I, i would balance that because according to the 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 depth of the problem that you're having here for example i would say these are all my family my child is my family my wife is my family my mom dad they are all my family i'm so stuck up when you say that your wife is not your family i don't know about the guy but i think the moment you and your wife have a kid like you definitely you become a family because you are joined together and bond by the kid so when when it's a problem of the school fee then definitely you will have to fast pay the fee before doing the other things because when in yambeti you will go give your wife money to go to a vacation while your child is staying at home for yeah. fee or even your dad is sick or your mom is sick. yeah yeah for example so, like i said you're a breadwinner yeah. when you're not to the biggest salary yeah so yeah. in those times tunazinga cha uzito wa shida ndo sasa tunaona nani tunampea pesa wa kwanza ama nani tunampea priorities wa kwanza then you consider the other person but as well when maybe your wife is having a problem and then the others are, are not having like that really big problem you might consider her attention so ikwe kwake yeah ikwe kwake sana but then it's not like you forget your family it's just that she's the first priority but then again it depends like maybe what would you give your, give give your wife money if she earns maybe just do her surprises do her some sort of a party but then that point of giving her money when she earns money i would say it's spoiling her because when so she's your wife bro so you're spoiling her because she's your wife okay yeah in 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 forms of gifts and surprises and parties it's okay but still it's spoiling yeah okay, cash money it it will make her maybe at some point when you actually don't have the money she'll feel like maybe you are pulling off or you are not like trying to do the things that you used to do kitambo but when you give her the surprises once in a while it like maybe she'd feel like it's just a appreciation and not like 
a transactional relationship. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ebu ebu to reverse your situation sasa. Wewe haupati pesa mingi ama hauna job. And then your wife has is getting some good money driving a good car. Akipata pesa zake uh, who's the first priority? <laughs> is it you? Her mom, her kid, the kids cuz kids knew any water. Or her friends, because you know there's ladies who spoil their friends a lot. Yeah. They be like, I'm taking my girl, my girl out, you know. Kuna yeah, sure. zaidi kwa situation. Wewe how 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 na job? Okay, what I believe is when women love, according to the experience that I have, when women love, they'd do anything for you. So it's just a matter of how true are they to loving you. I'm very sure if your wife loves you, she'll she'll make sure that. In as much as you are not earning, you are not having that enough money, she'll cover up for any other thing. Because we have seen situations where there are these marriage ceremonies, the traditional ones. Yeah. You find that a guy is not earning much and the wife is already in the job business. And you find out that the wife actually goes ahead, buys cows and takes to her home just to cover up for the husband. Yes. So it's but then what happens to your ego as a man? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. As in how are you feeling? For me there's usually a certain guilt that I suffer, especially I'm like, wow, nisha a victim because I'm not used to actually. It makes me feel guilty all the time. Okay, I, I feel like I owe you all the time. So okay, being uh, hurt doesn't uh, and, uh, make you like become low or something. Just make sure that at that moment... For well, money it does, bro. Imagine una buy your gari, una lipua rent, una lipua dari. Na ume chill too. That's the point I'm bringing in. Like um, you as a man should not just sit down and wait for your wife now to do everything for you. Uh -huh. When she does one thing, make sure that you show efforts to do other things and make sure that you come at the, at the same level of, or even go higher. But Don't how, make your wife how, feel bad. How long will it take you to rise up to the occasion? For example, you're just broke. You are broke, like dead broke. But then you're married. Uh, a good example, your diary. You're marrying it to this family and they have money. <laughs> they have money called Pesa Sishida in that, you know, saying. So, yeah, kitaka, whatever, and I teach to Nainakudza. But, well, it might take even five years to build that capacity, and here you are, you're marrying her. So, how is it, Mambia? Anything. Ata will rise up, but the table will rise up, but she'll be like, I'm done with you. What kind of a man are you? So, yeah, first of all, like, as a guy, make sure that the person you're marrying is someone you can feel safe around. There's no sense of, of marrying someone that is way above you then they'll have to like control you or make you feel that you are low as a guy make sure that you marry someone that resonates with you in as much as maybe they're a little bit higher but they can okay you can make it up to where they are or even higher not in a battling way but just to make sure that you uh, maintain your stature as a man and make sure that uh, the world doesn't see you as someone who is low someone who doesn't do anything like for the family yeah. And uh, there are wives who are also okay when you are down there still growing up. They cover up for you and as I say, do everything for the family, school fees. Right. Just at that moment when you are low, but don't make it low for long. Right. Just make sure you work towards that. Before we get back to you, I want to tell you a story of Hakimi Apo. And Ali sell pesa zake in the name of the mom. And then his story kind of out there and people are like, you know, why did, she just give so, why did he just give a lot of attention? to the mom and not the wife. But then it turned out the wife was also wealthy. But then they, so you call Kosha, so you find out they had kids in between. And then there were so many discussions around it and what were kind of, could you listen? Oh, if you are richer, who should your wealth be written? Who should be the name of the first person on, on, on the list of your will? Uh, just in case you have your wife, who should you find in a mile? And then Kilam told you, mom, 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 dad, 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 dad. But then, how, how, how do you how do you balance this situation to a point? Yes, Umasema, you you're creating a safer environment, but she's also entitled to some two three things that you own, just in case you guys who are legally married. But then Pia Uku Kenya Juzi Umasema, oh okay, on and then more chane, kilam to and then a fifty fifty and yali letter on the table. Sakama so, could letter chachote. Ali kuja to yel kwa baby girl, a kajilet on the table. 
kutendaje <laughs> cuz now kila kitu ume save ya ume pay attention mom yeah ume divert huko kutendaje and then people kona sema my uh, baby girl swing so kona sema i've spent 10 years with you and now you're leaving me without nothing then you'll have to give me by force you know yeah, yeah. so, so well, well the baby girl okay. say you you, you spent, spent 10 years with me when, when i was spending 10 years with you what were you doing she was being your wife you, you see, her job was being your wife in the house you see i tend to think that ladies should wake up and unajua uh, kitambo they used to say like the guy is the provider then the wife is just there to help him protect what he's made but at this point in life uh, ladies should wake up and know that they have to work hard as well to make both ends meet so when you are a woman you're coming to a guy then you guys have stayed for 10 years you are just there being a wife then you really have hard work like you should make sure that at least you work towards something and ensure that even if this guy leaves me at this point i can depend on myself as a lady instead of uh, being there being the best housewife then people are people like you'd find this guy maybe feeling that you're just a housewife then he goes ahead and starts dating another girl and you know how these things go round and round and then maybe mkosane then you guys are having a divorce then you realize actually atamali zake alikuwa ameka kwa kwa mom maybe because of the trust that he didn't have in you so uh, some of these things be like the hakimi situation you could find it trust maybe the guy saw the red flags kitambo aliona this woman is not worth uh, putting the name in the in the will or something so uh, the the situation of hakimi is just about trust it's not more of like a cg mom is more important than the wife it's just maybe he loves the wife but he doesn't trust the wife with the wealth hey i'm stuck yeah, yeah, yes <laughs> mm kwa hiyo issue eh hata mimi nitaunga mkono naunga mkono eh nitaunga mkono cuz unajua inategemea eh mahusiano yenu iko aje unaona kama 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 home trust vizuri hakuna venye unaweza mpatia mali yako cuz kuna mwenye utapatia eh upate ana spoil eh ah kazi yake tu ni party after party eh unampata mugivi unaona na ni do yako na take she spending your money because you are the husband you are the provider <laughs> but for instance kuna kuna housewife like kuna two like madam kazi yao wameambiwa like me stacky wanda fanya kazi mali kwanza stacky mtu mwingine ako access ni mimi tu peke yake nitaku access and i've had real life uh, experiences that like a friend alioa you know alioa this chick hataki and nje kabisa kazi yake ni kuishi kwa nyumba na ku take care of the house na watu amepewa kila kitu but then the danger comes in vile sasa wewe umesema mkosane and then kaput so wewe uko unafanya chochote kazi yako you are being paid to just be a housewife sit in the house cook buy anything you want but then how wendy kazi kabisa 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 what happens in in such an instance here yeah? siku moja shetani akuingia cuz we say the devil entered me you know and then hati badilike mapenzi ishe na sasa meishi for 15 years so we were attend our pisa hii hmm? attend our pio time eh hey, kuna mali alikuwa ametoka <laughs> Uh, maybe uh, maybe say yo kila kitu maharibika bro you yeah. know things can get so bad to mm-hmm. a point ati kwenye ulitoka utaki kurudi tena eh uh, unajua hakuna venye unaweza kaa kwa nyumba 10 years eh usemange ati kazi yako ni kuchunga boma it's possible mm-hmm. especially in this rich fa- uh, most arab families actually arab families zile za like saudi arabia and the rest mabibi wengi wana ngi job they are, they are paid to just live and be a, a wife so uh, hana f- a, a 9 to 5 kama sisi huko hivi mademo anaenda job chali anaenda job so kazi yake ni to do house chores and take care of the family and then kaput it happen you know eh uh, linganisha siwezi linganisha relationship yangu na yako 
Unajua kuna mwenye anaweza fanya anaweza sema kaa kwa nyumba. I will provide anything you want. Unaona kila kitu ana anakuachia everything ukitaka unapewa. So ile shida inakoanga unajua ule msi anatoka anaezanga kusave. Tena anachunganga. Unaona? Mm. Unapatanga huyo mtu ana protect. Lakini mtu mwenye anakaa kwa nyumba ile siku utaondoka ataweza. Cuz ujue ile 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 stream ilikuwa inaleta hizo do ikifungwa ni hivyo. Unaona? Yeah. So the best thing to do ni mtu asikae kwa nyumba. Eh? Chomoka nje hata eh. Yeah. Eh? Kama mzaya ana kamna so wewe kamna kinde yako. Mm. Eh? Mlete kwa meza. Leta kwa meza. Na for instance uko na marafiki wengi. Kuna wale wao prioritize pia marafiki. Watu ulisoma nao. So wakikuja attention yote imeenda kwa my friends. To point hadi wao wana feel eh hey, wewe una concentrate na maboys wako sana. Ama at, at, you, know, you also have female friends but yes you have a wife but then she comes. You wife will feel some tapo here as eh hey, a a a a a a. Here attention is too much. Mbona si mimi? Mbona wewe unisifi hivi? But then leo na sifia huyu njeri sana mlisoma na yeye sijui nini nini like how do you create a, a warm a warm a warm environment around that and convince njeri ni classmate no matter what you try to imagine we have never done it because usually zina kuanga i suspect you guys used to do things you know kuna kuanga na such stuff in between but then come convince pia ni ngumu na ataki pia convince you unajua kuna mtu hata ataki kusikiza So I think Sakwa, for for this situation girls do really bond faster than uh, when they have conversations when they talk so the first thing that you should do is make sure that your wife and your friends I talk about, I'm talking about the female friends uh-huh. and your friends are like that close so what's quick close or more quick close or quick close I think that's dangerous or okay, quick close uh, <laughs> as for me i think if your wife really loves you when they become closer uh-huh. maybe it lowers the expectations of her thinking that maybe you, you guys are having, do something are having you guys because when they talk you know. i'm very sure girls like sharing things yeah, so sure. your fr- yeah yeah your friend maybe will share with her things and maybe i could just now you had a thing and you're still friends and you're married <laughs> what are to wake i was us but still your friends they always in kick up my bear Yes we used to that but you know my wife was here kuja you have an you have an less an approachable personality so you still keep friends from you are you like me I'm still friends with what you know now class 1 in fact bado to call in our whatsapp group so see as you are married now so you guys rest in peace they'll still pop up but then my wife will still say something you know okay i think friends are there but when you're having friends also make sure you have that space for your wife like akwetu na time yake Don't mix up the time you're having with your friends and extend it to the time you're having with your wife because this is a special person to you in a different way. I know your friends are special but they should have their time. Now I'm be here. Uh, my bro, uh, saizi nataka kwenda kwa wife. We want to have our time and they have to respect that. Zile sleep over since the Friday. Okay with that, uh, I think it's something you guys plan and you will have to tell your wife na umuulize kama like babe are you okay with this then if she's okay with that yeah. there is no issue then i yeah feel the buyer when the guys or the girls actually come uh-huh. yeah so I, i think it's just a matter of having that conversation right. and in a marriage uh, different from the relationships like it's a way of learning things uh, relearning things and unlearning some of the things that you've learned yeah. because you never know like what exactly this girl will come, will come up with the next day and she doesn't know what will come up with the next day as well yeah and it's very hard to compare relationships and uh, marriages as well because every person has different personalities so it's yeah. just a way of mkaechini uh, muonge and know what works for you guys and what doesn't work for you guys all right uh, we can end it from there because we are out of time let me just sample like three, four, five comments very fast before we exit on that same question Admilo Kingori wa Magumo anasema first of all what is priority and then I can ahead akasema it's a condition of being given attention before others 
Now you know. Okay, we have though. Now uh, the answer is hilo solo kikosa ku translate what is priority we pour in akani kuuliza kati ya mamako na mke wako nani anafaa kutoa pesa kwanza which we've talked about. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for that. Uh, which other one relates to that? Uh, wife uh, Rhodesian Jogu Njoroge anasema wife your first priority I can share everything with my wife. I'm a seman I'm a Tajan Nelly Brown who is the wife okay happy mother's day and mom akona daddy let me stay there na life okay so so you guys are mean <laughs> you guys you are mean to your wives and then kuna mgeni anasema watching from maungu naona poa zaidi shout out ziende kwa mama then wife bila ha bila kina mama hata sisi atunge kwa so tenda na chain mom and then wife Okay, and then I can say, I'm wishing you a nice week, Kalami Val. That is from Tito Mkubwa. Val, you have a crush right there. I make up on a kissing emoji. Am I allowed to say that word? Ah, yes, it's, 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 a, it's a common word. <laughs> Glory Nash, I say, well, good morning. First priority, ni mom, tuned in from Meru. Okay. Uh, Benito Masana, I say, well, good morning. Kitui was side, side Zamutulu. Kalongoya pamoja sana thank you and then the last one from Manu by I see the comments are many he says I'll give my wife first priority cuz yeye ndio mama ya watoto wangu good i love it true you should give your wife first priority continue sending the feedback and we are done we can't say another word